As a child, keeping me occupied and quiet on long road trips must have been a nightmare. If my mind wasn't occupied, I was probably throwing up. Sometime in 72, we took a trip from our home in Missoula, Montana to Butte, Montana. My father came up with a novel idea to keep me quiet. The next time I asked, how far until we get there? Instead of answering, my father gave me Zeno's paradox. To get there, we have to go halfway, right? That means the town of Drummond. And we have to get halfway from there to Butte. That means Deer Lodge. There's another halfway point after that. Warm Springs. That's the state mental hospital. You don't want to stop in Warm Springs, do you? It's a terrible place. No matter how close we get, there's always going to be another halfway to go. That probably shut me up for an hour as I pondered this horribly confusing thought. Eventually, I said, Dad, let's go to Livingston. Why? Well, Butte is halfway to Livingston. If we start to go to Livingston, but we just stop in Butte, then the rest of all those halves just don't matter. I was kind of a precocious kid. Fifty years later, not long after the death of my father, I was thinking about my solution to the problem. While I'm years away from my mathematics education, I think I can do this. This is X, the distance between Missoula and Butte. Now let's go twice as far, Missoula to Livingston, by multiplying both sides by 2. Distribute that 2 through the infinite series. Simplify the fractions. Wait a minute. That infinite term starting with 1 half? We saw that same thing in the first step. That's the same as x. Let's make the substitution. Gather the x's by moving it over to the other side. Simplify again, 2x minus x is just x. It's true, x is the distance to Butte. It's just one, not some weird infinite series. As a kid, I was right. If you ever want to go to Butte, you must first intend to go somewhere else.